The Wildcats opened the season at Perennial Powerhouse Northwest Missouri State. They rallied from 21-7 down in the first quarter to win 44-27 and snapped the Bearcats' 17-game home win streak. Back home at Shotwell Stadium, the home opener was no contest. 45-14 ACU over Texas A&M Commerce behind 390 passing yards and a couple of touchdowns from Billy Malone, and the defense scored twice itself. The game against East Central University, no contest. 66-7, Pats over the Tigers as that newly revamped defense forced six turnovers. The Wildcats were unbeaten heading into a nighttime showdown against their nearest rival, Angelo State. The defense rose to the challenge, and Johnny Knox had 232 receiving yards and four touchdowns in a 51-7 win. It set up an undefeated showdown between ACU and West Texas A&M and Canyon. Bernard Scott had 400-plus all-purpose yards as the Cats jumped out to a 31-7 halftime lead. But ACU's lead was down to 10 on the first play of the fourth quarter when Billy Malone ran a naked bootleg around the left side to seal the ACU victory. The Cats unbeaten, home for homecoming against Tarleton State. The defense strong again. And Bernard Scott, nearly 300 yards in all-purpose yardage and three more touchdowns. The Cats knocked off Tarleton State 37-17. In the season finale, Billy Malone was back after a thumb injury that had him out two games, and they rolled over Midwestern. And for the first time since 1950, the ACU Wildcats complete a perfect regular season. After a first round playoff by ACU faced a familiar foe, arch rival West Texas A&M. But there was nothing familiar about the way this game played out. 93-68 ACU over West Texas A&M in a game that saw ACU roll up 810 yards in total offense as Billy Malone threw for six touchdowns and Bernard Scott ran for six more and caught a seven. It set up a rematch against Northwest Missouri State. Bernard Scott had 169 yards and two touchdowns, but ACU couldn't get past the four-time national finalist Bearcats from Northwest Missouri State after ACU had beaten its first 11 opponents by no less than 17 points in each game the Cats fell to the Bearcats 45-36, putting an end to one of the greatest seasons in Wildcat history.